My name is Michael Miner. Um, I just want to share with you my testimony and what God has been doing in my life. From an early age, family has always been something that has kind of eluded me. When I was three, my father decided to get up and just walk out, leaving my mother and I just completely alone. Um, as a single mother, she did everything that she could to provide for me, um, to put a roof over our head, and I'm so very thankful for her. But as a single mother, of course, times often got hard. And I remember there was times we experienced homelessness as a child as well as a result of this. And this is when I began to learn my family really wasn't supportive of my mother and I, was not welcoming of us. There was a time when we were homeless and we reached out to a, one of our family members and we were only allowed to stay one night in her home. No, and she knew that the following night we had nowhere to go. I have also had folks in my family, from as young as I can remember, treat me with contempt, degrade me, and just dehumanize me just because of the color of my skin. And so growing up, as I got a little older, I just started really questioning God. I grew up in the church, I was baptized as a kid, but going through some of the stuff that I went through as a child into my teenage years, I gave up on God. I denied Him and turned my back on Him completely. For the next 20, 20 plus years, I was a proud atheist. I wore that as a badge of honor. I cursed the Lord, I made jokes of Him, and I even went so far as to try to so doubt in the minds of the believers who were around me. Through some really tough times in my life, I actually um, was introduced and met one of my best friends and brother, Zach, who is also a member here at Together We Church. He has been the first person really in my life who has accepted me for who I am. Um, despite all of my flaws, he has walked with me through the most difficult of times, stood by me when I needed him. And for years, he has offered me and welcomed me to come with him to the Gather We Church. And so many times I told him, no, no, I do not want to come. That's not what I'm interested in. I appreciate the offer, but no. But in 2023, I kind of hit a little, really a low point in my life. And I finally did accept his offer and his invitation to come with him to Together We Church. The first time I walked through these doors, I felt something that I just really couldn't explain. The compassion, the understanding, the love, the respect that I received, when many people here knew that I was an atheist, the way that they treated me made me feel like I was at home, made me feel wanted, when for so long in my life I felt alone and unwanted. Going forward through 2023, what was supposed to be a single visit turned out to be every week I started coming. And on September 24th, 2023, I actually gave my life to the Lord and was baptized here at Together We Church. I have completely abandoned the atheism and believe that Christ is my everything now. Um, I know God has the glory for working through me and changing my life, but I do not want to underestimate what people here at Together We Church have done for me and my family. You know, growing up, I did not have much of a family. And again, I, I felt alone and unwanted. But coming to church here when I did, I could not deny Christ because I saw Christ in them. The way that they treated me, respected me, welcomed me with open arms. People here have welcomed me and my family into their homes. And it has been the most amazing experience that I now have, can say that I have a, a family that I truly believe loves me for who I am. Despite anything that I've ever done, they love me now for who I am and who I, I have become. And I truly love them. And to be quite candid, you know, again, God has all the glory, but you need to understand that together with God, what some of you have done for me, you all have saved my life and I am forever grateful to you.